Our team's back, of course, talk about some more Crisis Core reunion, and we were going to talk about something different today, but looking around online before I started making a video, turns out we already have the trophy list for Crisis Core reunion, and this is something I usually do with videos on my channel before the game comes out. We usually, like a month or so before, a couple weeks before, we usually get the trophy list, and I like to cover that on my channel for those that are interested. Obviously, if you're going into Crisis Core reunion for the first time, like never playing Crisis Core, there can be some spoilers to the trophies, I'm sure, so you can obviously avoid that if you want to. So Reunion has 51 trophies, including the Platinum, so technically 50 trophies. And as of right now, of course, we do not know the values. We don't know which ones are you know, bronze, silver, and gold. But you can kind of guess if you've played other games. Generally speaking, like defeating story missions and stuff is usually like bronze type shit, defeating chapters. And then bigger stuff like 100% completion or beating the game or beating the super boss type shit. Those are usually gold, so you can kind of decipher some shit out yourself. And before we hop into the actual trophy list, we got to get that obligatory one per video Twitter shout out in. Because I actually just tweeted about the trophy list yesterday. I was thinking about it. When it comes to Christ Core Reunion, since I haven't really played the game in a long time, and I've never 100% of the game at all in any capacity... Like, I kind of want to go for the Platinum on this. I'm not somebody that chases Platinums too, too often. And actually looking at the Power Picks article, which is, I think they're the first people to, like, post, like, the trophy list, whatever the case. That was actually a couple days ago, November 23rd, which is kind of strange because I look up, like, Rebirth, Remake, and Crisis Core Reunion stuff pretty much every single day. So I don't know how I haven't seen this yet. So it's actually a couple days old, which is a little surprising. So we're going to read over all 51 of these trophies as fast as we can, though we might stop and talk about a couple of them. There's definitely at least two that I want to comment on, but there might be more as we go. We'll see. Also, before we actually get into this list, there is spelling errors here and there. I'm not really sure why, because at one point it says Kangaga instead of Gongaga. Who knows? Anyways, let's go. So here we have the first 12, which is My Living Legacy, Unlock All Trophies, Embrace Your Dreams, Clear the Prologue. And we're just going to read the titles of all the chapters, trophies. He wouldn't betray us. We're not masters. Angels dream of one thing. Where did, I think, be like everyone go? Where did everything go? I don't know. Protect your soldier honor. Did Genesis really die? I may abandon Shinner. I'll come visit. We'll all be heroes. Thanks to you, Zach. So I do want to stop there briefly. Uh, so in the original Crisis Core, there's also only 10 chapters. The last chapter, chapter 10, is technically just Benora Underground up to the defeat of Genesis, but there's still more after that. There's obviously, I guess maybe considered an epilogue. That's the Zack final stand and all this stuff. Zack's death, pass on the bus sword, all that shit. So when I first read the name of that chapter 10 trophy, the first thing my mind went to was Zack is still dying, right? Thanks to you, Zack. Thanks to what Zack does at the end of Crisis Core, saves Cloud's life, pass on the bus sword, and kicks off the events of Final Fantasy VII. Thing is, though, that's as we just discussed, is actually not a part of Chapter Ten. But also, even if they were to, like, let's say hypothetically, change the ending of Crisis Core Reunion to match remake, right? Zach lives. He's still saving Cloud's life in the end. So, regardless of what the ending of Crisis Core Reunion would be, Zach living, Zach dying, thanks to you, Zach still fits that. And actually, speaking of there potentially being newer stuff when it comes to Reunion, we've got to take a bit of a longer pause here because I actually noticed something a little interesting when looking at the trophy list versus the names of the chapters when it comes to the original Crisis Core. So when you actually put these side by side, you can actually notice that there's a bit of a change when it comes to the original Crisis Core versus Reunion, where things are moved up essentially one. So with the original Crisis Core, there was a prologue, which is just the virtual reality training simulation at the beginning, and then the first chapter was actually called Embrace Your Dreams. But if you look at the first trophy on this list, it's called Embrace Your Dreams, and that's just clearing the prologue. And if you look at the second chapter of the original Crisis Core, it's called Betrayal, but if you clear the first chapter in Reunion, you get a trophy called He Wouldn't Betray Us. Same thing if we continue down this list, man. Chapter 3 is called Monster, but clearing Chapter 2 in Crisis Core Reunion is We're Not Monsters. Chapter 4 in the original Crisis Core is called An Angel's Dream, but if you clear Chapter 3 in Reunion, you get a trophy for Angel's Dream of One Thing. Chapter 5, Where Are You? If you clear Chapter 4 in Reunion, it's Where Did Everybody Go? Whatever that is. Chapter 6 in the original Crisis Core is called Protect Your Honor, but if you clear Chapter 5 in Reunion, you get a trophy for Protect Your Soldier Honor. Chapter 7 in the original Crisis Core is The End of Genesis, but if you clear Chapter 6 in Reunion, it's Did Genesis Really Die? You see the pattern here. So here I'll give you guys a crudely drawn representation of what I'm trying to say here. It seems like they've taken maybe the prologue of the original Crisis Core and also chapter one of the original Crisis Core and made those the prologue of Reunion, thus moving every chapter up one technically. Because you can see down there, like chapter nine of the original Crisis Core is called See You Soon, but chapter eight is I'll Come and Visit, which is kind of similar to that. Chapter 10 is Heroes, but clearing chapter nine of Reunion gives you a trophy for We'll All Be Heroes. Then you have just chapter 10 down there by itself, thanks to you, Zach. Now, obviously, we are looking at trophy names versus the actual titles of chapters, but generally speaking with trophies, like, if you clear a chapter, whatever the name of that trophy is will be related to whatever happened in that chapter, right? So it seems like what they did with Crisis Core Reunion is, to, again, taking that prologue in Chapter 1 and merging them into one actual prologue for Reunion, and then maybe taking what used to be the epilogue, essentially Zack's final stand, and made that its own dedicated chapter, potentially. The thing is, when it comes to original Crisis Core, there's not, like, a whole lot of content after the defeat of Genesis after Chapter 10, right? There's about between, like, 15 and 20 minutes of stuff, but the, really the only gameplay segment is the final stand, right? So it'd be kind of weird for that all to be its own chapter. So 
I mean, you could do it because it's still the conclusion of the game. It doesn't have to be like a super in-depth chapter. You already did your final boss fight, which was Gen Genesis. But would that maybe imply that there could be some additional shit for Chapter 10 now? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just pointing this stuff out. I don't know what it means. Kind of jump back to what we said a few minutes ago with the trophy name for clearing Chapter 10 in Reunion. It's called Thanks to You, Zach. I would think that still implies that he's going to die. Even if the name would technically work for either Ending, Remake, or Crisis Core. It's mostly his sacrifice. Thanks to his sacrifice, Cloud lives and obviously goes on to save the world. Anyways, that's kind of a massive tangent, but we had to talk about that because when I noticed it, it was bothering me. I had to put it in the video. Let us continue with the rest of the trophies. Soldier of Legend cleared the game in hard mode. Missions completed 25%. Those, this was self-explanatory. Mission completed 50%, 75%. Mission completion is complete 100% of all missions. DMW Master achieved 100% progress for all DMW. Limit Break Collector obtained all DMW images. Fan Club Aficionado joined every fan club. Fan Club Savior helped every fan club continue their activities. First Rate Soldier defeated all virtual data in the training room. Genji Equipment collected all Genji Equipment. Nothing really break down there, so let's continue. Mail Completionist received all mail from all senders. Midgar Full of Flowers constructed every flower wagon type. Seven Wonders Expert learned all of Nibelheim's Seven Wonders. Shop Completionist unlocked all shops. Everyone's Hero saved everyone calling for help during the assault on the Shinner Building in Chapter 3. Accelerator checked all cells on the 6th 7th floor of the Shinner Building. Benora Treasures collected all items and arrived at Angel's house before the Benora airstrike. Bingo guessed the exact number in the number guessing game. Cage Opener opened the path to the Cage of Binding. Hero of the Wutai War received highest evaluation from Lazard for assault on Fort Tamblin. Immovable Object defeated all enemies in defense of the Junon perimeter. Master Infiltrator infiltrated the Mako Excavation Facility without being discovered once. So we actually paused there for just a second because that first trophy we looked at just then was to receive all the mail from all the senders. And according to PowerPix's article, with the original PSP version of Crisis Core, you actually had to do multiple playthroughs to do that. But we don't know if that's going to be the case when it comes to this kind of remastered remake version of Crisis Core. They might have updated or changed it so it's possible to get all the letters in one playthrough. But you might have to do at least two to three playthroughs potentially to get like all the trophies in this game. Which I think it's going to take most people at least two anyways just because you probably don't want to start the game on hard mode. You could definitely do that if you want to. But it'd be a lot easier to finish the game on normal, level up and shit, and the new game plus into hard where you have your level and your gear and shit. And we move on. Master Mako Stone Miner prevented the material room from being shut down of significant worth. Judged by Hojo to be a soldier member of significant worth in the fusion chamber. Good match for Aerith. Told by Bruno that you and Aerith make a good couple. Slice and soldier cut down every incoming shell. Wutai's nemesis caught all the Wutai spies that had infiltrated Midgar. Zack the sniper did not allow a single gun bullhead to escape while sniping. Waterfall chaser collected 10 chests coming down the waterfall in the hills of Gungaga. Shinra squats champion achieved victory against the soldier second class in the physical fitness test. Godlike, ready to have godlike speed in collecting the materia. Master Blender blended a perfume with the perfect amount of oil, overpowered, dealt 99,999 damage to an enemy. In the last up, we have Precise Restoration, achieved 100% recovery with the Marco Recovery Unit, come and get it, won a battle for the first time, got materia fusion down, perform materia fusion for the first time, prove your honor to me, perform a limit break for the first time, and Divine Rule Broken defeated Minerva, who's of course the super boss. And that, my dudes, is the trophy list for the upcoming Crisis Core Reunion. I'm going to be honest with a lot of this stuff. I'm not sure how difficult it is. There's definitely going to be missable shit. Like, for example, like where you have to get all the items and get to Angel's house before the airstrike in Benora. I don't know what the timer is on that. But obviously, if you were to fail that and not get all the items, the story's going to progress. Unless they, they added in some sort of like chapter select feature in this game, which would be nice. Maybe they did that. You would then have to do another playthrough to get up to the Benora section to make sure not to fail that specific one. I'm sure some of the other ones on this list are also missable. So for somebody that's going to try to get as many as you can in like that first playthrough... Then you might want to pull up like the list as you're playing so you don't forget the shit that you got to do. But my dudes, that is of course going to be pretty much the video. So pass off to you guys. For one, what are your thoughts on the trophy list? But also the chapter thing we talked about previously where it seems like they moved the chapters up a bit. What do you think is going on with that chapter 10 thanks to you, Zach? Is that essentially just the epilogue from the original Crisis Core just turned into a chapter? Or is there something else? Something else going on? Either way, that is the video, my dudes. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Social networks in the description below. Follow me on Twitter, Dash and YT. That's it. Bye. I used to care what people thought. But now I care more, and nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending, depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like Coltrane, we in here. Like Logan, or leave it. Like Cobain.